Hey there! In this lesson, we will be measuring objects using rulers. Remember that a ruler has two different measurements on it. One side is for measuring in inches, which is shown with IN on the ruler. The other side is for measuring in centimeters, which is shown with the CM on the ruler. Let's practice using inches first and help out our friend Nora. Nora plans to make some clothes for her doll. For that, she needs to cut some fabric into certain lengths. Let's help Nora out by completing this checklist. First, we need an 8 inch piece of pink fabric for the skirt. Using an inch ruler, let's measure 8 inches by placing the zero marker at the left edge, find the 8 inch marker, and cut the piece. That's a check on Nora's checklist. Next, we need two inches of fabric for the ribbons she'd like to sew on the skirt. Let's use the ruler again to measure two inches and cut the fabric. Remember to place the zero marker on the left side. Another check on the checklist. Now, we need a five inch piece of fabric for the blouse. Back to the ruler, let's count. One, two, three, four, five inches and cut the fabric. Awesome! Another check on the list, which leaves us with only one more piece of fabric. Nora also wants to sew a scarf for the doll, and for that she needs 10 inches of fabric. Let's measure that using the ruler and then cut the fabric one last time. There we go. Now Nora has all the fabric she needs for sewing. Thanks for helping her. Now let's practice measuring using the centimeter side of the ruler. The unit changed, but it works the same way as the inch ruler. Let's get started. How long is this comb in centimeters? Well, I placed the zero marker across the left edge of the comb and the right edge is across the number 10. So it looks like this comb measures 10 centimeters. How long is this phone in centimeters? Again, let's place the ruler correctly and we will get 13 centimeters. How long is this letter in centimeters? Let's properly place the ruler and check the number across the right edge. Looks like this letter measures 11 centimeters. Let's keep practicing by measuring different objects. Push pause while you complete each task. You can do this on your own. Find three objects in your classroom. Measure all of them in inches first and then in centimeters. You can do this with a partner. See if you can help your partner guess how long the objects you chose are, both in inches and in centimeters. Since you've already measured, you can help guide them to the right answer. Doing this will help you both get used to estimating the length of an object. Here's more. When you measure things, they often won't measure exactly to the next inch or centimeter. When this happens, you can measure an object to the nearest whole unit. Find an object at home or at school and measure it. If it doesn't measure exactly to the next inch or centimeter, see if you can decide what the next closest measurement would be. Nice work! I hope this helped you practice measuring objects with a ruler using inches and centimeters. See you next time! Did you enjoy this video? Bottle has more awesome learning content delivered through amazing 3D games. Sign up today!